kiss goodnight over the phone. Okay, Mike. Now the record is finished. It's mixed. It's ready for release. How do you feel about it? I feel really good about it. I remember the first the couple of records I did. I was practically insane. The last few months we were working on it. This is my fifth. Yeah. I think I can relax more. And uh, I'm kind of pleased with the result because it it started out as as we talked earlier on. It started out as me building a small studio in the basement for demos. All of a sudden, realizing that wow, it sounds pretty good. Let's let's make a record. And I was so fortunate to to being able to have access to the tube tech gear. And I think that taught me a lot that with the right equipment. You can go a long way, but uh, still, this time you had to be engineering. I had to you've be, been yeah, engineering. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about that, how that have affected it because you have been wearing several hats all the time. Yes, uh, I wouldn't have been able to do that five years ago. I think it, it comes with the, the the growing older, being more calm in the situation, and and the fact that it's my own house, I am more calm, and I am I have plenty of time, so. So we could kind of uh, enjoy the process. These songs were written, recorded, uh, and they came to life where I'm at my most private me. Yeah, cool. And uh, I hope that reflects in the songs. Does the result satisfy you? Yes. Uh, also because uh, I think I made the max of what I have. Uh, I realized that if I had the budget, I'm not here trying to say that that a basement in my house built for washing clothes 40 years ago is as good as Ocean Way in... No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that that's out of my budget, that's out of my league. So I kind of had to find out how can I make the best of what I have. And I think we really succeeded in that. I think if I was with a world-class engineer in a huge studio, I could even make some of the sounds even better. But this has something else. This has the homely atmosphere and it has the, the simplicity. And I think it added to the vibe of the album, to the feel of it, that I don't have that many channels. So, so I mic up the drum kit with three or four mics and I'm sure that it could sound even bigger or something, but for, for this particular song, on this particular record, it's just right. What about the mixing? Well, the, the, both, both of the mix engineers uh, said that they were really pleased with their recordings, uh, that the, all the tracks sounded really good. I'm not a skilled engineer, I'm a musician, but I care about sound, I care about the sonic quality. Uh, and now I have the time for it and I got to know the room even better and and uh, But I think the key to it was to keep it really really simple I don't think my this this setup I have here would would be a studio where I could All of a sudden have a studio business and record pop music or something else, but it, for me It's built to my needs. It works really well and um but still, you had I mean, you had a horn section. In I had a horn section. I recorded record drums here. Tons of piano. You Ton record of piano, all yeah. kinds of uh, stuff. Yes. In all kinds of ways. Yes. But again, I kept it very, very simple. Yeah. I kept it very simple with good microphones. Uh, run through eighty percent of them to the the, the tube check preamp, and then just every once in a while, a little bit of EQ, a little bit of the tube tech compressors. That's it. Uh, so I kept it very, very simple. Not a ton of microphone because I don't have the knowledge to avoid all the facing and all the stuff. So uh, I kept it simple, 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 simple with a simple signal path of very high quality. And then just move the mic until it's, I think it's also making sounds is, is of course the player and the instrument and the signal path and the microphone, but it's also a matter of is there some if if you know what you want to hear, mm -hmm. you just keep messing with it until uh, until you get that sound. I think I I work in a studio the same way I play music and sing. I never I was never taught 
uh, to sing. I never had lessons in that way. So sometimes it's very clumsy, <laughs> it's very, but at the end of the day, I know what I want to hear and I just keep trying and messing with it until I get that. I think that's my, my thing, uh, that I often know where I want to go. Well, the result speaks for itself. Thank you. It's a great record. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anymore.